Hi guys and welcome back to my channel channel and or if you're new here hi my name is Emily I do beauty videos here on YouTube as you see from the title of this video this is a collab with a fellow Swedish youtuber named Lisa uh, she speaks English as well I will link her down below we decided to do she's doing a red December so we decided to do a all monochromatic red look uh, if I look a bit beat up, it's because I've had migraine uh, throughout the day today, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm wearing my pajama sweater. <laughs> um, I'm going to go take a shower after this and um, go to bed. Uh, but yes, I'm going to start out with the eyes. Uh, so if you want to see this red monochromatic look then just please keep on watching. Zooming you in and getting rid of the hair. When you see this I probably have red hair again because I'm, I'm filming this on a Sunday night and tomorrow Monday I'm going to my hairdresser again. I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in Illustrate. So I've done one collab before and it was with Lisa as well. So why not continue on the tradition? Uh, she's a really sweet girl. Uh, we haven't talked this much this year but I haven't been that active this year because of me having a child as you know but I like her looks she she doesn't do like I do which I like because then I can learn something from it okay so that is kind of blended out um, for the red eyeshadow I have chosen let me see Two palettes. I have my Gloss Gods Incendio palette. Uh, I have a look. I'm going to have a look up with this soon. Um, I think I want to use that red shade from this one. Then I also have the Morphe and Jacqueline Hill The Vault palette. It's the Ring the Alarm. And in this I have that red shimmer which is my favorite. Uh, so now I just need a dark color to deepen up the outer corners with and for that I'm going to use my favorite it's the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette and um, I'm going to take that dark red shade uh, but I'm going to start with the Incendio palette and the shade called Firebolt and just put that in my outer corners And this is super pigmented, I remember. I'm trying to blend this as I go a little bit because I have a sticky base on. Maybe I should have set it with powder. Something on the lines of this. I feel so honored when people want to do a collab with me because I don't have that much subscribers and I don't have that much comments so I don't know if people are really watching my videos. Uh, so she, Lisa's um, wrote on Instagram if there was anyone who wanted to do a collab I just hit her up on, in DMs so I did but I thought she would say no because like I said we haven't talked for a really long time uh, but obviously she, she said yes and I feel kind of honored and a monochromatic red is a perfect look for December. I think I want to add some glitter. I have one red glitter I think. 
something on the lines of this. Ain't that pretty. I'm going to take a um, uh, denser brush to try to blend that out a bit. So yeah, I've had migraines today. Um, not sure why. Sometimes it just happens. I think you look a bit crazy when you try to do this colourful eyes without having your base on because you can see all the imperfections. Then I'm going to go into that large Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to use that darker red to deepen this up. And it's one of my favorites from this palette. If you watch me, you know. And I'm just placing that on the outer corners and a bit in my crease, trying to blend. As I said, tomorrow it's Monday and I'm going to my hairdresser to get my hair cut and colored. I want to go back to the red with the strawberry blonde that I had before and hopefully that's something she can do I'm just going to wipe off that brush a bit so we don't have any dark pigment left and I'm going to go into Firebolt uh, and take some of that and just uh, blend and use my mirror up close And hopefully soon I can change my makeup, um, my filming setting, setup, because I bought like this small table that I have my, have my camera and my mirror on right now, but I get like back pain from sitting like this and I want to use my table, um, so I'm just going to like flip around my table. I'm obviously going to wipe away some stuff. That looks okay. Then um, I have, it's looking it's looking a bit patchy here, but I'm going to go into that wing the alarm shade, which is a bomb ass, and it's that one. And I'm just going to try to apply that with my finger to begin with. Uh, it looks like this. It is absolutely stunning. But I don't know if I want to grab a setting spray with this. I apply makeup really sloppy today. <laughs> I think it's because of my migraine. Um, this is how it looks. I think I'm going to apply some glitter now. Uh, am I sh uh, cheating if I use one of these? The dark one is from Pixie and the lighter one is from NYX. Yeah, I think I'm cheating because it's not it's not all red. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one is more purple. Okay, so no glitter. Okay, but um, then I'm going to wipe away my fallout and I'm going to do uh, my foundation and uh, powder off cam uh, and the bronzer and contour and I can we can do blush and highlight together because that's right. Um, so I'll see you in a bit. Now I have done um, some of my base. Uh, as a primer I'm wearing the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Illuminating Primer. And then I'm wearing the Maybelline Superstay foundation. Um, it's not really the right shade. Um, then I'm using the uh, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Uh, I'm using the Nippa Fab Contour Stick. 
and I'm using the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder that I do not like. Uh, my bronzer is the Clinique Powder Pop in Solar Pop and I've also done my eyebrows more brown so I'm wearing the L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert in Auburn. Uh, this is not Auburn for me, I think that this is more of a brown color. But since my purple hair is a bit washed, uh, the purple is a bit washed out, I thought that this could do. And I've been really like smacking that on, so I have quite full brows now. I need to pluck them, but anybody got time for that? Uh, ain't nobody got time for that, is how you say it, sorry. Um, yes. So I thought that we could do blush and highlight together and as a blush I'm obviously going to do something red. I'm going to use the Nabla Skin Glazing um, Glass F F Skin Finish Glow Powder in adults only. And uh, this is the first time I'm using this brush so let's see how it performs. Mm, pretty good actually. And I like blush, so I'm going to add a lot. And this has a sheen to it, as you can see. So that's the blush. I love this. As my highlight, I don't have like a red duochrome, so I'm actually going to use a pink uh, highlight. I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Quartz. Um, I don't know if that is shitting, but I mean, pink is in the family of reds. And I'm using a bigger brush because I want to add a lot since my eyes will be a bit. Um, strong. I do believe that that looks pretty. I'm going to take the Maybelline Glass Spray. And just add to the glow a bit. We can move on to the under eyes, and I'm going to start out with that darker shade from the large Jack and Hill palette, and just place it uh, along my lower lash line. Now I'm beaming again. Can you see what I'm doing? And I'm going to blend that out with the Incendio Firebolt shade, which is um, that one. Then I'm going to fix some of the... on the um, actual eyes. So I'm going to take that darker red and I'm just going to add some more. Hopefully this doesn't stain because I have some things to do tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to take that uh, bomb ass shade again and I'm going to <clears throat> spray the brush this time and press it on. And no, that didn't do that much. Hmm. I look weird. I'm just going to take uh, my setting powder and um, I'm just going to take some 
like up here because I think I blended it too far up. Oh my god, I hate this. So I'm just going to take that on a brush and kind of uh, blend it down a bit if that works. I have never, I, I rarely do this because I don't do this dramatic looks. No, that kind of made it more pink. Or red. Okay, um, yes. Mm. Then I think I'm going to go for black in my waterline, if I'm allowed to do that. Um, some black. Yes, I'm taking this um, Lotte London AM to PM in black. And there you see I have not powdered. Or the oil spray made it a bit more oily there. I do not like it when I can't touch my face. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. Yes, this is dramatic. Um, going to take a mascara. Um, let's try this. Is my regular mascara is in. Uh, it's not in here. This is the Duke Punk Volumizer Mascara. Or Duke, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I got this in a look fantastic box. Ooh. Um, hello, big wand. Can you even see that I have lashes? Um, this was definitely too big for my under eyes. I did not expect that. I don't know if I should have put a burgundy dark purple on my lash, uh, on my, um, as an eyeliner instead of this black, but hopefully I haven't cheated. <laughs> Since I don't have any red duochromes, I'm going to take the uh, Tarte shade from the Juvia's Place Douche Palette. And I'm going to place this as my inner corner highlight because this is a pink uh, uh, duochrome. Um, that might be cheating though. I'm sorry, Lisa. Okay, um, do I feel happy about this? Um, kind of. I think that I blended it out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to find something for my lips. Um, for lips, I'm going to use this Tarte, Tarte Lip Paint in XOXO. And you know that I'm not good at applying lipstick. Yes, what do we think of this? I'm going to um, fix my hair for a little bit and um, I'll be right back. So this is uh, the finished look. I want to, however, be a little bit risky and um, I think I want to take that darker red shade and put it in my brows just to be a little bit more editorial. Um, yes, I'm going to regret this, but it will be fine. Do you have anything clean that I can use? Let's see how this goes. Like, 
this kind of like unwearable looks it's it's not really my uh, my thing but that looks okay doesn't it I think so okay I'm kind of not regretting this I think it looks pretty good can you see they got a little bit more like oomph to them okay my my glasses glasses are dirty um yeah so what did I think of this um I I would have pulled a darker lip but I don't think I have anything that is red that is dark I have like dark red leaning on purple and I think that that's too purple uh, although I cheated a bit on my eyes uh, but anyway thank you so much Lisa for doing this collab with me and please check her channel out uh, she's a really cute uh, f um, and friendly girl a uh, woman um, and fellow Swede uh, and yes thank you for doing this collab with me I love reds and I think that this turned out uh, pretty okay I don't like the um, the lips as I said but other other than that I think the look turned out uh, okay sorry if I'm like fidgeting with my hair but I still have a bit of a headache so I'm trying to like concentrate um, yes so if you want to subscribe I would love to have you as a subscriber if you like this video please press thumbs up and until I make another one you guys please take care bye